Recently, I played through Halo Reach with the help of some friends, and they drove me insane. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. The game begins with an opening shot of Australia in 2019. The ending of the game is immediately spoiled to you because Bungie only knows one way to advertise something about a game. Well, this... this is awkward. We arrive at an elementary school portable and are given a very quick introduction of the members of Noble Team and their personality traits. Sniper Man is edgy. Team Leader Man tells us what we're doing. Skull Man is edgy. One armed woman is transporting stolen baby wives across the desert to escape a warlord. See, I told you this was Australia. Large Man is large. Team Leader Man lets us know everyone's names all immediately, so we're obviously going to forget them in the first 10 seconds and be too embarrassed to ask what they are later and just go on the hope that one of them mentions the other's names before we have to. Carter lets us know that he's seen our nudes and compliments our thick Spartan booty, but lets us know that Noble Team only does gangbangs and that we'll have to give up our title of Best Solo Male 2552. We fly to a secluded civilian outpost to kick down the doors and force them to pay taxes, but before we can figure out why they were evading their taxes in the first place, Sky murdered someone and softlocked the game. But don't worry, the easiest way to get everyone to keep on moving is to murder someone else. Because murder solves everything. Oh wait, no, I fixed it. I fixed it by oh, no, softlocking this by murdering another double civilian. Double time it. <laughs> That's a good lesson. That's a good life lesson. Murdering civilians will always get you further in life. This is why I say war crimes are always the best option. War crimes are the best crimes. Yes. We find a couple of marines just hanging around, and Sky kink shames them for having a bondage fetish. What a bunch of fucking pussies. Imagine getting chained to a wall. Finally, we come upon the reason that the outpost was evading taxes. Aliens. We kill every single alien so they don't abduct our cows and repossess a civilian vehicle because what are they gonna do, tell on us? They owe taxes. We make our way to another outpost and murder some more aliens before moving on to kill them right out of their ship to let them know that we don't take too kindly to crop circles being drawn on our corn. Sky reveals that mere mortal flesh isn't enough to satisfy his hunger for blood and attempts to blow up our only uber ride out of Farmville, but the Falcon proves too resilient for Sky and sucks him up to force him to give a 5 star review. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Oh, he took off! Oh, what? It teleported me in! Fuck! Oh. No, I wanna leave you! I don't wanna be here! We're dropped off by more illegal aliens who are trying to get into the Oni headquarters, but we're hardworking conservatives, so we must murder every single one of them so they can't take the jobs from the true hardworking Australians that deserve them. When we enter the building, we find out that pretty much everyone has already been murdered, but Jorge finds us someone alive that we can sacrifice to quell Sky's bloodlust. Unfortunately, before the ritual could be completed, we're rudely interrupted by a zealot with bad dental hygiene who wants to take one of the survivors for themselves. Jorge is understandably upset that our civilian murdering was interrupted by aliens that want to murder civilians, so he takes us to chase after them. We don't find the kidnapped civilian, so I do the next best thing. I murder Sky to prevent him from stealing my cool new sword. Kat and Carter bicker like an old married couple while Jorge tries to get the obviously Hungarian woman to answer the questions that he's asking at her in English, despite the fact that he obviously knows how to speak Hungarian, and then she acts like she doesn't understand him until he starts speaking Hungarian, and then she speaks in English, and oh my god, who wrote this? The game tries to get us to acknowledge Kat's thick Spartan booty, but we know that Kat's easily the weakest thick Spartan booty of the bunch, and we won't be swayed. We're dropped off at another alien invasion site, and Sky attempts to woo them with a jeep, but the aliens aren't big fans of off-roading, I guess. <laughs> it's Fuck. Hard. After making our way through a field of aliens with absolutely no issues whatsoever... <laughs> uh, okay. You had a perfect yeah. route, and you managed it, to hit okay, the rock. Okay, apparently going up that rock is Holy fucking shit, weird. Will. Sky, Holy we're shit. not invincible! <laughs> oh, shit! Really oh shit! We carpool our way to another Oni base where we beat up more illegal aliens that are trying to take our jobs, while we make our way to the roof, where we can cancel all in and out flights to the area because the price of airline tickets are frankly ridiculous. We exchange veiled sexual commentary with Jorge before Dr. Halsey ruins the fun and says that we have to give her a summary of what's going on so that she can write it into a song to be her next hit single. Halsey isn't happy with Kat that she stole her unreleased mixtape and demands that she give it back or she'll sue her, but Carter threatens to sue Halsey for being a bitch, and that shuts her up. Just making a reading suggestion. My man. dick is bigger than <laughs> yours! Oh, dick. <laughs> Cut to a retroactive Destiny reference starring June, us, and some cameraman that doesn't exist but follows us anyways. He is just obsessed with our thick Spartan booty. June hands us a magazine full of dick measuring bullets so that we can prove to the world that we've got the big dick and the aliens have the small dick. We big dick our way through a few hordes of aliens until we happen upon a strange mating ritual between two giant mammoth sloths, which we murder because their values don't line up with our anti-alien conservative Australian views. Sky soft locks the game again because of civilian murder. 
This time we can't perform more murder to get past it, so we have to rewind time. After making it to a cliff, the civilian gets tired of our bullying and blatant disregard for the flow of time, so he commits suicide by jumping off the cliff. We follow June to a control tower and fend off aliens while he uploads our brand new porn film to the cloud. We get a sneak preview of the new video at the end of the mission in the form of double thick prone Spartan booty. Cut to the next morning. The entire marine force is having a race to see who can get to the blockbuster to rent our new movie first, but unfortunately the aliens have been camping outside since last night and we have to murder them to get all the copies back. Because Cat is driving, we crash within 30 seconds because even in the future, women shouldn't be trusted behind the wheel. So we take our own ride and have absolutely no problems whatsoever. Which would mean the strike mode of Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yep. God, why? Are you serious? No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, looks like I gotta forgive you. Oh, God! <laughs> it threw me off the map. And I spawned off the map. Can you move the hog? <laughs> I'm just dying. Okay, alright, there we go. After making our way past the aliens, we find out that Blockbuster has been closed since 2014, and we're sucked into an Uber that crashes within 30 seconds because even in the future, Marines in the Halo universe shouldn't be trusted to fly. We make our way up to an alien tower so that we can mark it for death by a large spaceship to prove once again that we have the big dick and the aliens have the small dick. Except the aliens prove that they have the bigger dick. New contact. Oh, I rip. No. Oh, rip. We cut to a conversation a few months later between Carter and Kat, who are arguing that the aliens have apparently been one-upping us on the dick measuring contest, but she has an idea to reverse it back to the way it should be. We decide that the only way to prove that we've got the big dick and the aliens have the small dick is that we'll teleport part of their big dick to another dimension, thus making our dick two-thirds larger than theirs. We head to a secret Oni base to steal from the Kerbal Space Program, and Sky and I argue about the definition of vertical takeoff and landing. This is yeah, fully vertical. We're not, we're not taking off vertically. Vertical. We're taking off horizontally upwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's not vertical. Energy. No, it's not. That is look, vertical. look, we're we're going <laughs> vertically. Is, is if you're upwards directly we're, we're ground going, flat. If you're we're going upwards. upwards. We're not you're launching vertically. In the y direction. First stage. You are only <laughs> moving in the y direction. Not that there is no x direction. But we're not taking. Like we can't Implying. land vertically. Stage separation we have three, to land horizontally. Two, I mean, you could just nose dive. <laughs> Once we make it to space, we immediately begin to use our new not vertical takeoff and landing ships to corrupt the aliens with capitalism, just to spite Tim Curry and spread our conservative Australian views. Space! We pick up our alien castration device and get a good look at the fact that the aliens are already trying to recreate Mad Max without us because we said we'd be back in five minutes, but we were a little late. We murder our way into command of an alien ship so that we can stealthily insert ourselves into the larger ship, but we find out that the device we were planning to use is broken because Jorge's thick Spartan booty was too much for it to handle. So he throws us all out to save us from blowing up and prove that Jorge has the biggest dick of all. Except the aliens prove yet again, they have the bigger dick. After falling literally from space, the only side effect of the journey was that our balls stuck to our armor, so we try to nonchalantly walk it off, but they're really sticking. The camera guy is back and completely ruins a serious scene by pointing the camera square at our thick Spartan booty, so all sense of drama goes completely out the window because we are mature adults. Gratuitous ass shot. <laughs> <laughs> we make our way through a city with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Oh! Shit. Oh, God! Oh, God. What God. happened? Oh, God! <laughs> There's a bunch of them. Run. Run away. I was just gonna no, hit you no. once. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No! Sky's insatiable bloodlust is back, but luckily for the other Marines in the area, Sky is easily distracted by his bigger insatiable bloodlust to destroy Falcons. Luckily, I was able to stop him from continuing with no problems whatsoever. Ow! Bitch! No! <laughs> <laughs> I have to sit and watch an entire turret section of the game, so Sky mysteriously gets killed when we land. I guess we'll never know what happened. We carpool our way to a missile system as a last-ditch effort to stop the aliens from flaunting their bigger dicks at us, and we manage to get in contact with the rest of our squad to let them know that Jorge is fucking dead. Then we take a really awkward Uber ride back to our squad because we ordered a party bus, but none of our friends showed up, so we had to wait around in silence all alone.
Carter lets us know that now that the aliens have full bragging rights, they're making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches out of our comms equipment, and we have to go stop them because we know how to make real sandwiches. We admit to Carter that we made another solo porn film without them because they didn't come to our birthday party. We fly our way through this mission with absolutely no problems whatsoever, and absolutely no team killing from anyone because we are the perfect trio. Oh god. Team wipe. Back on Lieutenant. Oh. flying Miss Falcon. You will not win! <laughs> Fuck, why can't you go up faster than me? I... Ah, shit! <laughs> Ow. Oh, what Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Somebody just wanted to enjoy the oh, view. Oh, 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 oh shit! shit. <laughs> what did he do? Wait, again? Really? He had to do it. He had to do it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. What the fuck? All right, hang on. Let me yeah. Get Bet you wish you stayed in now, huh? How the fuck? What? The volume, the great. Uh, but I wish I stayed in now, huh? You blew it up. No, I didn't. I know you did. I, look, I, I have I have video proof that I did not touch it. I watched I you get exploded by the brutes. When we finally make it back to the rest of the squad, June is happy that we've made it to his birthday celebration that everybody went to instead of ours. We exchange veiled sexual commentary with Kat, but Dr. Halsey ruins the fun indirectly because we have to go back to Oni's base from earlier because she left her computer logged in and the aliens are going to find her new album and leak it early. Cat gets shot in the head, but we're more distracted by subtitles that are playing, despite the fact that the audio definitely isn't for those lines. It's okay though, because Sky offers us his professional voice acting talent to fill it in. I'm, I'm seeing subtitles of things I'm not hearing. Yeah, I don't want to die. Please let me live. Yeah, I'm not hearing. That. Well, considering you nice, took nice a voice giant acting. bullet, I'm here. It's okay. Sky, we'd like to hire you for Halo. We're getting we're getting picked Next off. First we got the thickest guy. Now we have the least thick. We're being sandwiched by the Covenant. Mm -mm. Next one to go is I don't know Carter probably. Hopefully. We pick up a tank and make our way through the level. This time really with no problems whatsoever until we make our way inside the base where we're greeted to nothing. Again, nobody came to our backup birthday party either. Despite the fact that we've used elevators before, everyone is immediately suspicious when this particular elevator arrives, but we've decided to take it wherever anyways. It turns out the Halsey wanted to ruin our fun directly and have us report to her to take her brand new sure to be a hit single and upload it to the cloud for her because she's lazy. The aliens catch a whiff of our plan and try to stop us, but we murder our way through them to Halsey where she reveals that it's not actually a song she's giving us, but artificial booty that we can use to fight the aliens, which we carry on our own booty because it's so important to us. Cut to Carter half-dead flying an Uber, so he lets us know his love for the room before we jump out of the back of the Uber. Sky manages to get the if they came to hear me bag jump on his second try, despite the fact that 343 removed this achievement from the game, so fuck you 343. We carpool our way through the level and I have some fun with physics. What the? <laughs> God damn it. It happened. We did like... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. No! Fuck <laughs> it! I'm surprised you hit him that time, damn! Yeah. Oh, fuckers! <laughs> we will win this race! Carter sacrifices himself to destroy a scarab with the power of his thick booty, and we fight our way through the rest of the level with absolutely no problems whatsoever. You made it! They'll start attacking us if you kill too many animals. So I haven't seen it happen yet. Like that? Oh! He did, he threw a grenade at you. It's Am I not allowed to respawn? That was unfortunate. Oh no. Oh, oh god. I straight up. Watch that thing. Oh god. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was my bad. Look out, Sky. We're throwing grenades what? at those guys. At the very least, it's like 800. Oh, Sky, I swear to God, out. you you keep like strafing into my bullets as I'm finishing an enemy, so I took out your shields. 
Yeah, you took out my shields, and then I go to melee someone, and I fucking die. We meet up with Captain Keys, the dead guy from Halo 1, who assures us that he's a big fan of our work and that the dead guys on our team will be remembered through the power of Cortana Booty. Keys heads back to the ship with the booty, but not before Emil gets stabbed because everyone has to die, and we take his place to shoot a few dozen alien dropships out of the sky because we need to keep them away from the booty. Jump cut to the future, where Cortana and crew find Halo, which we're definitely going to use to upload our videos in the future to spite the aliens. Then we cut back to the current time, and we die, because we're included in everyone, and we have to die too. Game over.